Hi, uh, this is a little tour of my home theater system in case anyone's interested. It's been a little while since I updated what I have, so I'm just going to show you right now. Okay, this is set up in my living room. This is a living room that's connected to a dining room. The living room is about, I'd say it's about 15 by about, oh, 25 feet, something like that. And I believe it has an eight foot ceiling. Here's the equipment rack. For my main uh, amp for my front channels, I've got a Crown XTI 1002. I used to have a Imativa XPA 2 amp for the front, but I had to sell it because I needed money. But I, uh, if you can afford the Imativa amps, I highly recommend them. They sound great, especially for the price you're paying. And uh, the XPA2 was about 800 bucks. I think it's still that price. Uh, this crown went for about $420 on Amazon. It's a great sounding amp. It's about 275 watts per channel at 8 ohms at 1,000 hertz because that's how pro amps are rated. And it has excellent bass response. It's got a high damping factor. It really controls the woofer. And you really get a tight, well-defined bass. It's probably, probably its best feature and the fact that it doesn't weigh like a hundred pounds so if you have to move it around uh, it does have a fan in it but that fan only starts up when the room is quite warm and when you're driving the amp pretty hard so it doesn't run that much for me so I'm really not too upset about the fan noise because it's if you have loud program material on it kind of drowns it out my CD player is Imativa ERC1 uh, I think this goes for about 350 400 bucks, something like that. Well, they have the ERC-2 now. Really great sounding CD player. I'm really happy with it. Don't know if you can see. It's kind of dark, but my FM tuner is a Pioneer Elite F91. This is uh, an old tuner from the 80s. I found I, it was up in my attic. I didn't remember that I had it. It's part of the Elite series. Really great sounding FM tuner. I listen to FM occasionally. I have some radio programs on the weekend I listen to. My uh, Blu-ray player is a Sony. Uh, let's see if I can remember what the number, what the model is. I believe it's called the S570. It's about a year old now, and uh, I'm really happy with that. It gives a really great picture, great sound. It has some internet connectivity where you can get uh, Pandora on it and Netflix. Below that is uh, Samsung. That's, uh, I think it's called an HD841. That's a multiplayer that plays CD, DVD, DVD audio, and SACD. Uh, the main reason I keep it in the system is it plays DVD audio. I I have maybe maybe about a dozen DVD audio discs, so if I want to play those, I need a player to play it. My receiver is a Denon AVR 989. That's I think it's about four years old now. Still a great sounding receiver, uh, great features. It doesn't have all the internet connectivity and app control and stuff like that like the new models have but it's still a really great receiver and I'm really happy with it that's my uh, cable box DVR Scientific Atlanta Explorer HD 8300 uh, pretty happy with this it gives a really good picture good sound uh, it's pretty easy to operate the only uh, complaint is that sometimes it's it fucks up and doesn't record a show that it's supposed to be recording. Uh, I was going to take it back and get a different, get a new one or whatever, but then it started working again, so I didn't do that. But hopefully, it'll keep working and not and not uh, do that again. Down below there is my Velodyne uh, amp control unit for my Velodyne sub. Uh, I've got an older sub from the 80s. Uh, it's a ULD 18-2 has an 18 inch driver I'll show you that in a minute and it has a separate 400 watt amp and crossover unit that fits in your equipment rack like that my center channel amp 
is a Carver TFM 15. Um, I have it bridged to mono. It gives 300 watts in mono. And it's a really nice sounding amp. I had this amp uh, rebuilt by a place that specializes in working on Carver equipment. And they go through it and they totally uh, replace all the capacitors and, and all the normal things that need to be replaced due to age because this amp is like from the early 90s. And uh, when you get it back, it's just like a like having a new amp again. And uh, I highly recommend these old Carver amps. They sound great. I currently have a TFM 35 being rebuilt, and I should be getting that back next month. And I may I may swap out the crown for that TFM 35, uh, compare the two, and see which one sounds better. Uh, the Carver I believe has a little bit less background noise than the crown, so I may end up using the carver for my main amp. Now we'll go to my front speakers. My front speakers are Teal CS7s. And I bought these about 14 years ago. These are really fantastic sounding high-end speakers. Really wide frequency response. Um, great sound staging. Great bass response. Very tight accurate bass. Um, the only disadvantage of them is they need a lot of power to sound good and uh, they're 4 ohm and uh, the, the SPL at 1 watt 1 meter is only I believe 87 dB so you know I recommend at least at least 100 watts to power them and, and you know I would say up to 500 because you know they need some juice the screen is a Favi 120 inch screen. It's a manual screen. It just pulls down like a window shade. This is a really great screen. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I think it's for a little over a hundred bucks or something like that. And uh, for that money, I'm really happy with it. It's, they also make a motorized model. I think it's maybe like another hundred bucks for that, for the motorized feature. And uh, if you want to move your screen up and down every time you use it or whatever, or have it have it uh, so it retracts when you're not using it, you can get the motorized one. For my center channel, I've got uh, an MPX. I believe that the model is the TP112. I think they replace this with the TP1200. It's basically the same thing. It just looks a little different. Um, it's, a, it's a PA or DJ type speaker. The reason I'm using this speaker is because it's efficient and uh, it's an 8 ohm impedance speaker. I do have a teal center speaker but it's 4 ohm impedance and it's inefficient and it just doesn't kick out the, the dialogue the way that this one does and I like uh, to be able to have a speaker that doesn't need a lot of power and that's an 8 ohm impedance so it's easy to drive for the center and that's why I'm using this for the center and for for center speaker I'm quite happy with it I think it works pretty well <clears throat> excuse me it's good for music and dialogue and uh, I'm pretty happy with it these go for about a hundred bucks on Amazon back behind the other teal is my subwoofer that's a Velodyne ULD18 with an 18 inch driver this is an old sub from the 80s. This was Velodyne's first product. And uh, it's really a fantastic subwoofer. It really kicks out the bass. Um, it puts out 102 dB SPL at 20 hertz. And you're pretty hard pressed even today to find a sub that can do that. And if you do, you're usually talking about, you know, spending, you know, a few thousand dollars to get a sub that can do that. So... I'm in no big hurry to replace it. it, it uh, I only use it for home theater because the teals go deep enough for music in my opinion. But for home theater use, that thing is pretty pretty good sub. She really kicks out the bass good. She really shakes the room up pretty good. For my surround speakers, I've just got these little insignia speakers that I got at uh, Best Buy. Uh, they're actually indoor outdoor speakers and they come with with a bracket and I've got the bracket adjusted so that they sit like that and they kind of face at a 45 degree angle kind of shoot the sound up reflect it off the ceiling 
and uh, I think they do a pretty good job of uh, reproducing surround. No, they're not dedicated surround speakers, but in my opinion, they're for what I'm using them for, they work pretty good. My projector is an Epson Powerlight Home Cinema 8100 1080p projector. Um, the new model of this is out now. It's called the 8350, and I think they run around $1,100, $1,200. Um, this is a really good projector, delivers a really fantastic picture. Um, there has been some issue with these about the bulb life, and uh, I'm currently on my second bulb, and uh, I'm hoping that this bulb that's in there now lasts a little bit longer. I think they might have went to a different supplier for the bulb, and they might have, uh, you know, got a better, a better and longer lasting bulb. I also moved it ahead a little bit from this back curtain here. Uh, hopefully it gets more air and, the, and it, uh, the bulb lasts longer and I've cleaned the filter out. So I guess the, the jury's still out on that, but we'll see how long the current bulb lasts. The other surround speaker is over here. These back lamps are just some uh, torturees that I bought at Target. And I think they maybe went for like 20 some bucks a piece or whatever. And I've got those wired up to a cord right here with a switch on it. So I can turn those on and off, you know, like between movies or when I need to go make an adjustment on the system or whatever. For my remote, I've got the Logitech 1100. Um, this controls my entire system. It's set up with the activities. So uh, like if I want to watch a movie, I press one button. It turns on the projector the receiver, the DVD player, or Blu-ray player, and uh, I just have to turn on the power, amp man power amps manually. Uh, I'm really happy with this remote. It's rechargeable. You don't have to worry about putting in batteries, replacing batteries, or anything like that. <clears throat> Overall, I'm pretty happy with this setup. I've got the equipment in this little uh, alcove there that leads leads to a doorway there's a bathroom back there but I can access that from the other side so pretty uh, pretty happy with how this setup looks and how it sounds and so forth I think this is probably the best I can do in this in this room and this you know with my budget and so forth I built this system over the years so uh, I'm pretty happy with how it is uh, if you have any questions or comments about my home theater, or you want to tell me about yours or post, you know, a video of your home theater, I'd be glad to look at it. And uh, thanks for watching my tour of my home theater.